Hey, John, this is Mitch. How you doing, buddy? Not sure why you're not getting any of this, but I'm going to send this again. Um, I think I might have had your email wrong. I've got tons of them to send you. So this was day one, okay? So some things we changed on day one with your setup. Number one, we got you much, much more athletic instead of bent over. Big thing, we got your hands starting ahead of the ball right here. Um, you can see your left arm's crooked. It needs to be straight. Your right arm needs to be relaxed. Your right shoulder should be a little bit lower, okay? When you get that right arm under and get your hand slightly forward pressed, that's going to help. We also turn that foot out a little bit to help you turn through the ball a little bit. So as we go on into this, I'm going to shrink you down a little bit. Hope you're having a great summer. Um, so as we go, so get rid of all that stuff. Now, we talked a little bit about your grip. We want to make sure with that grip, buddy, um, I'm going to do a close-up on it. With that grip, remember, we got to have those V's. Okay, we're talking about the grip. We've got to have both these V's working more as a team. Shouldn't be, we want this V going to the right side of your face and this V. We don't want it way out here. We want it more inside that right shoulder. So, no, so you have that V going way over here and it causes you to hook it a lot. Get that V going more so you're covering up more of that thumb. Okay, as we go through it here, I'm going to shrink you back down. You can see how far you're leaning over, reaching for the ball. And that's a wedge we're hitting there, buddy. That hands are almost be directly under your shoulders, almost touching your body. Remember, we had a problem keeping that low in the whole problem. Good lower body, you're keeping the weight on the inside here. The turn's great, but as you come down, okay, you get great lag, which we always knew. But what happens is we start to hit release early. There's the early release. That club should still be back here. Okay, we did a lot of drills and lots of things to help you learn to keep that right hand from overdoing it. Okay, right hand on top's a great drill. You can see then you get to the ball, and that's why you always hit the ball so high because the golf club gets back to the ball before the hands. Remember, we worked on getting the hands here. Okay, in a good, the hands are here, and the club is behind or trailing here. So, we worked on that really, really hard. So, this was our first video of you, good rotation. But we hit it with the hands because the body and the arms get disconnected. So, this was just that first video we did with um, your wet. So, let me know if you got this, and then I'll start to send all the rest of them to you slowly and surely, buddy. Um, you can always call me, 843-333-3230. All right. Talk to you soon, John.